it's me, Tar, and today I'm gonna help you find your personal style, or at least try to. <clears throat> Finding one's personal style can be a journey of self-discovery and experimentation. It involves trying out different looks, taking risks, and finding what feels most authentic and comfortable. It's a process of learning about oneself and what makes one feel confident and stylish. I'm just reading a Harry Styles book. In Tara Yummy words, I'm gonna make you feel hot in what you wear. Listen, I'm no style expert, but I do get a lot of questions on Instagram and TikTok about my fashion sense and my sense of style, so I think I know a thing or two, especially because I won best dress in eighth grade and senior year of high school. So, you know, I got a couple tricks up my sleeve. I think I have a couple accomplishments when it comes to the fashion world. The first thing I think about when it comes to style is style icons. So find out who yours is. You know, people you look at and you're like, damn, I would look sexy in what that person's wearing. Whether that's a girl or a guy, it doesn't really matter. You can always femme or mask it up. A couple of my own style icons are people like Paris Hilton and Gwen Stefani in the early 2000s. I always joke that if I were to have like a style thing, it would be Marilyn Manson and Paris Hilton had like a love child. So what I would do is I would get behind the computer and look up some of your style icons. My favorite thing to use is Pinterest. So if I look up Paris, Hilton. A bunch of really fun things come up. And the cool thing about Pinterest is you could always do save or or click a button where it says more ideas and it'll automatically give you more style inspo. Once you have pictures of your style icon pulled up, you can look up things that they would maybe wear and keep them in mind because the next step is kind of important. It is my least favorite part though. Here's a bag of shit that I needed to get rid of. Go through your closet, you guys, and try to see what you haven't worn in ages. For me, this is the hardest step because I become really emotionally attached to my clothing and I attach a memory to it. For example, I'll be like, oh, remember this shirt? I wore this shirt when I saw that bird that one time in the mountains. Like, who cares? If you haven't worn it, donate it or sell it. Do what you want with it, I don't care. Just get it out of your closet. Although I am kind of a hypocrite, I hoard. Since we were talking about style today, I thought I would go into what I'm wearing. I'm wearing currently a belt. Belt. These pants, these like flared pants, oop, uh, they're from Urban Outfitters. They're super low waisted and they have like buckle detailing. These are like my favorite jeans right now. My t-shirt is at Hardy, but it's also from Urban Outfitters. Uh, these two bangles my grandpa got me from Iran. And this I got at a random punk store in LA, but it's just a um, studded like leather band. My necklace I got from Depop. This one my grandmother got me. And my earrings are just my normal hoops. I have pigtails in my hair and that's about it. I'm not wearing shoes. So that's my outfit. Back to the video. That last step was just to make room for my favorite part, shopping. You don't always need to go shopping at the mall or online, which those are options, believe me. But you could always go shopping in your own closet. Sometimes I forget what's in my closet after I hoard a bunch of my clothes. So once you go through all your clothes and pick what you don't wear anymore, it's like shopping all over again. It's like, I completely forgot I even owned this. Have I ever even worked at Hooters? No, but I forgot I had it. So these are things that can really help you elevate your own personal style. Also color coding is a really good option. Now this isn't like a closet organization video. Someone came over a couple months ago and helped me like professionally organize my closet. Picking out an outfit in the morning has been a much more easy experience. A good place to go shopping if you're on a budget or if you're looking for era clothing. So 90s, early 2000s, 80s, 70s, even 60s and 50s is thrift stores, Goodwill, the bins, anything like that as long as they are not torn up or if they're torn up and you want to go for a more grungy look I don't know you get really good things at thrift stores some of my favorite pieces I've ever gotten are from thrift stores they're more unique no one will have them if you like to be the center of attention like I do and want to be have an individuality complex thrift stores are your best friend come 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 into my closet once you have your style icons figured out your Pinterest figured out you've gotten rid of your clothes another one of my favorite things to do is accessorize sometimes a really boring outfit can go a long way when it comes to an original pair of shoes let's say I was wearing something super plain, like a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. If I were to wear these, I would look super, I don't know, model off duty kind of 90s vibes. But if I were to wear these juicy couture heels, it would be giving more early 2000s style. So I feel like accessories are a great way to spice up any outfit. There's so many little things when it comes to accessories that help. Jewelry, hats, shoes, sunglasses. These are all things to help you elevate your style. Weight. Another huge part of your style is the way you do your makeup and hair. Uh, you could go anywhere from leaving a bare face and not doing anything with your hair. That's up to you. I feel like that gives me hippie vibes. Love it. I went through a phase when like 2014 where I thought I was hippie pippy. It was crazy. Doing your hair and makeup will go a long way, especially if you're going the more alternative route. An eyeliner look, that'll elevate your appearance. If you're wearing leggings and a black hoodie and if you put on heavy eyeliner, you're a goth chick. Like automatically 
in my head you're a goth chick. But let's say you're wearing black hoodies and leggings and you don't have any makeup on. I won't think you're a goth chick. I feel like these are pretty self-explanatory things, but once you put these little things together, suddenly it's like, oh wait, I didn't even think about that. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm teaching myself. I didn't even know I knew these things. I feel like these are self-explanatory, but at the same time, I'm like, whoa, Tara, you got a good point there. Maybe I'm smarter than I think. I feel like that's sort of all the advice I have, but bringing it back to finding a style icon and going on Pinterest. Let's say your style icon is, I don't know, Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne had streaks in her hair. She had that like hairstyle. She wore baggy pants and chains on them and arm, and like little arm sleeves like these. I just happen to have them. Let's say I wore these with this outfit. I feel like my whole outfit would be way more Avril Lavigne vibe. Taking an icon, like a style icon, and trying to break down what they wore will really help all the steps that I just told you to kind of like smoosh them together. You know what I mean? So let's take it one by one. Avril's hair, streaky, cool. Get some streaks in your hair, put some extensions in. I don't know, whatever you want. She wears usually a baby tee, kind of like this, if I'm not mistaken, and maybe just a plain hoodie, some arm gloves, Gloves, baggy pants with chains on them and some sneakers. It's like little things like that breaking down head to toe what someone's wearing and someone you want to emulate will really help all of those steps I just gave you and Whoa. It's pretty simple, but I've gotten so many questions about my style and how I found my style and how I get dressed every morning that I thought I would break it down for you guys. All right, let's break down an era. I feel like if you don't wanna do a style icon, you can pick an era or a style. Like let's say your style was goth or basic or girly or ballerina core, I don't know, whatever. You can go and look those up. But if you were to do like an era, all right, look into the era. Let's say you wanna dress super 70s. What do they wear in the 70s? A lot of button ups, a lot of vests a lot of bell bottoms, a lot of clogs, a lot of boots, like cowboy boots, some tied up shirts, fluffy hair, like the beaded necklaces, you know, the circle sunglasses. And I feel like at the end of the day, it's really up to you what you want your personal style to be. Well, that was a lot of rambling. Speaking of rambling, I'm going on tour. If you guys wanna hear me ramble on stage for an hour and make you haha -ha laugh, click this link. Uh, tour starts this month, which is literally insane. If you guys wanna come, my first show is Dallas. I'm going to a bunch of different states and cities and I cannot wait to meet every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different from my usual content. I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you guys want more fashion content, whether it's lookbooks or hauls or try on videos, I would love nothing more than to please you guys and do them for you. Let me know down in the comments below, sound off. Uh, I love you guys, subscribe, like this video if you haven't already and it is time to skedaddle. Good luck finding your personal style.